Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video guide shows you how you can close down background apps on the Fire TV stick, just like you do on your phone from time to time. So this won't free up any space, but it will free up RAM and it will free up processing time. So all you need to do is go to find just there and then search. Now, if you've got an older fire stick and you've got a magnifying glass in the top left hand corner of the screen, instead of doing find and search, go to the magnifying glass. And then once you've got the keyboard up here, just start to type background. And there we go. As we've typed it, it's come up background apps and process list. Select that when it comes up, press the middle button on the remote control. And there it is. That's the app we want to select. So make sure that's highlighted. Press the middle button on the remote control. And then once the next screen appears, press the middle button again. And it will now start to download and install. This should be pretty quick. There we go. Mine's now installed. So press the middle button again to open. And here we go, it's now loading. Now, first of all, what we need to do is we need to uh, turn this off, open app on boot. Otherwise, it'll open up every time we turn the Fire TV stick on or every time we restart it. It's okay if you want it to, uh, to boot up every time so you can close down unwanted apps. But I would suggest taking the tick out of that for the moment. Okay, and then go down to got it, press the middle button on the remote control. And as you can see, all of these apps are actually running in the background. Now, I might not want any of these apps running in the background. So what I can do is that if I go up to close all apps, it will select everything on the screen to be closed. Now, you do have to manually go through and close these things, but it does bring the screen up automatically for you. So if I go to, say, for instance, close multiple, then what I need to do is I need to select the apps that perhaps I want to close down from running. So say if I wanted to just close these few select apps down, okay, I select them and then I go up to close selected apps there, press the middle button on the remote control and there you go, it takes us to the page so we can go to full stop for each of those apps. So I just go full stop, press the back button on the remote control, it takes me to the next app, full stop, press the back button on the remote control, it takes me to the next app, full stop, back button on the remote control, and you know what it's gonna do then. So back button on the remote control, full stop, back button on the remote control, and there you go. It takes us back to the list of the remaining apps that are open. Now, if I wanna close all apps, then just go up to close all apps there, press the middle button on the remote control, and there we go, it takes us through the remaining. So I go full stop, back button, full stop, back button, full stop, back button, and we just keep going until all of the apps are closed. Now, if there's an app that we think, oh no, perhaps I don't want that closed down, say if I didn't want download to close down, I just press the back button on the remote control to ignore that rather than going full stop. So uh, there we go. So let's just carry on closing these down just for the moment. Like I say, these will run again the next time you reboot your system and if you do want to reboot your system at any time just grab your remote control and press and hold the middle button and the play pause button on the remote control keep them held down and then eventually it will come up your fire tv stick will restart and uh, you can let go of them once that's come up now you've also got an option here to go into system user and there's a lot of system apps that run in the background. Now, this could be quite dangerous to close down some of these. So only close these down if you know what you're doing. I mean, there's things here that I pretty much know I don't use. So I could select those to close down. So I could select Amazon Photos to close down. Let's full stop that and then back button. Um, Amazon Shopping Live, I can close that down. So do full stop and back button. Uh, the screen saver, I don't really want that running. So can full stop that and then hit the back button. Um, Mayday screen sharing, I'm pretty sure I can, uh, I can, oh no, I can't close that down. It's just clear data or clear cache. So uh, some of these, like I say, it won't let you close down 
to uh, to protect the system but not all of them so uh, be very careful what you close down here i don't want um, amazon kids so let's just try full stop in that there we go can close that off and uh, there's i don't think there's much else on here really i know i can safely close down oh imdb tv i know i can close that down so full stop that back button but uh, like I say, I mean, there's quite a few in there. There's Game Circle as well. I could full stop that and back button. Prime Video, I don't use Prime Video, so I can do that as well. But uh, like I say, there are quite a few apps in here. But obviously, be very careful what you shut down. Only shut them down if you know what you're doing. Let's shut down news on there if it'll let me. No, it doesn't let me shut down news. So there you go. Like I say, if you want to restart these apps, then probably the best thing to do is to grab your remote control and press the play pause button on the remote whilst holding down the middle button and uh, wait until you get a message come up on the in the middle of the screen saying your 4K Fire TV stick is powering off or your Fire stick is powering off and uh, let it restart. So there you go, there's a great little guide which shows you how to shut down the background apps on your Fire TV stick to save processing power and save RAM and hopefully get that stick moving a little bit faster. I hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.